welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You have found Brutuska Gaming. Today, well, the other day, I was looking through all of these parts. They've got a lot of different mods installed here. And we had, now I've got to try to find it, these guys, which was a 5x suspension, which is basically a suspension piece that's five blocks long. I thought, oh, that's great. And then I found a, another set of suspension like these, that's eight times, ten times, and long. I thought, huh, well, I wonder if there's any others in here that are suspensions as well. And there is. There is one by, one by eight. And you go down, and then there's more and more and more. So I thought, you know what? I had a creation a long, long time ago that I had to... I don't remember if I had to triple or quadruple the suspension on it just to get the wheels to clear. Yes, like this. I had to extend it down three blocks, four blocks, four blocks, and then put two suspensions right on top of each other. That is not the ideal way to do this at all. So I'm going to try to replace these with that and hopefully... Hopefully this thing will work right and not have that weird jiggling middle piece. I'm going to go to get started and I'll see you guys on the other side. came up with and I like it I'm gonna have to figure out some way to get up there and paint those blocks because they're really getting to me but everything's hooked up four-wheel steering just like it was four-wheel drive with eight electric motors and this is all the speed or acceleration that we can get out of it I've got it double bearing so that you can get the most power I suppose you want to say it, out of these wheels. Oh, don't do that. It seems pretty stable. A lot more stable than it was, that's for sure. 
Yeah, we're gonna go. <laughs> I forgot this was the map that we tried all the uh, bouncy stuff on. Oh well. Oh yeah, that was a good one. That looks really good. The way that suspension's turning and uh, four might be a little much. That's right. We can always hop out and adjust. See, I've only got these things on four, but it almost looks like four is too much. So I'm going to drop them down to three. See how that does. I mean, I expect these to uh, bottom out pretty good right now because of how we were sitting. Come on. Can we go? No, we're going to have to go back and turn it back up to four. Because now we don't have enough power to move because we're sitting too low. All right. So we'll go ahead and go in here, go back up to four. That sucks, but could be worse. Could be a lot worse. I was saying I was wanting it to get more flex out of it, but... Not too awfully worried about it. Biggest thing is that it can still drive. Kind of. Oh. Come on, let's go forward. Get us up out of this valley. I also am zoomed out completely on this one, so this is as far out as I can zoom. Come on, climb the hill. With all those electric motors in there, you'd think you'd be able to pull this with no problems. But I think it's how much these wheels weigh, it's just not liking it. Because so I do know these wheels weigh quite a bit. Especially listening to them fall and having to deal with them. Yeah, they, they, they weigh quite a bit. So I would expect it does take a little bit more torque to get these things to actually spin at all. But, as you can see, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's pretty capable. I mean, once you get it going, it'll roll up over anything. Kind of like this. This is like, oh, hey, look, a hill. I'm going to keep going. Not really going to slow down for it, but, yeah. I like it. I think it looks a lot better with those longer suspension pieces than the way those doubles did. Those doubles were just not... It, it just weren't right. It didn't look right. It, it looked... We'll say customized. Fabricated. Custom fabrication. And not custom fabrication in a good way. Just kind of, oh, well, I had a bunch of suspension pieces laying around, so I threw them up underneath there. And that's not the look I was going for on this rig at all. But... I think I fixed it now, so I think I can let it go now. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe for additional content. Make sure you leave a comment and let me know any ideas. I have also done one with this same creation, or an experiment rather, where I put in a bunch of controllers, and that gave me a lot more torque, so I was able to feel like I was accelerating really fast, but overall it didn't do a whole lot for controllability because as soon as you hit those controllers all it wants to do is pick the front end up and lay on its back because of all the extra torque there I also tried doing like a half controller half electric engine see how that would hold up and that really didn't do very well either the controller was able to hold it steady for us but the electric motor it was it couldn't even get going like this is now. So I was like, well, that, that doesn't really work for me, so I'm going to have to move on. But if you have any other ideas on how to get this thing a little bit more controllable torque, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, this has been Brutuska Gaming, and I'll see you next time.